G'day guys, welcome to another episode. This week we're on the island of Roti. I'm going to show you the sailing community here. It's such a rad little community they've got going. And it's sort of loosely based around a guy called Bruce. He's set up a boat yard here. He employs a few local guys, teaching them how to fiberglass, how to fabricate things. And they started building these little trimarans. They're just basic little trimarans, single sail, single mast. And these things rip. Let me show you how all this works. It's incredible. So you've made molds for all of these? Yeah, we've made molds. And also with the local guys here teaching them about fiberglass and we, you know, we go through stages. This is how you use it. This is what you use it for. This is how you make a mold. And this is how you take them out and stick them together. It's... Well, let's go and have a look in the shed and see what you're yeah. up to in there. No so way. when did you build this shed? Oh, I built this last year, year before. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Before that we worked out of the back of my house over here and then things started getting a little bit more serious so um, I've stuck my neck out and leased this land and the other thing we're doing is storage in the off season for all the hotel and people store their boats in the wet season. So yeah we've got we made this big mold here for the big Java canoes. Oh, so this is a this is a mold to make more canoes out of. Yeah, this is. They're called Jakungs out of Java. Fantastic boat. All right, and these are the molds for the outriggers, are they? Yeah, yeah. That's the, all the molds there. And that's like the decks. Are they the decks for the main yeah, hull? Yeah, this, this is the tops. And so, how many of these trimarans have we got out here now? Oh, we've got about ten. Yeah. And uh, so there's a race coming up in a, in, a, in a, oh, it's only a 10 days from now. Another 10 days, the big race. Yes. Any <laughs> predictions? Oh, me first. Yeah, first. <laughs> what, does everyone else let you win because you're the Yeah, you're they the feel boss? sorry for me because I'm a poor bastard, see? <laughs> One of the keenest of these trimaran sailors is a guy called Andy, and he offered to take me out for a rip around the lagoon. Man, these things fly. You sit so low to the ground, it's like being in a go-kart. But yeah, you do get pretty drenched as you see here. But yeah, what an adrenaline rush. These things fly. So Bruce is constantly tweaking his designs, putting on bigger masts, bigger sails, little dagger boards. Okay. All tweaked, ready to go. We're looking fairly good. And here he is going out to try this um, laser sail that he's cut down. And uh, it's about a 20 to 30 knot wind day and it's howling out there and you watch this thing rip but yeah it's all about the fun when you see these things just on a beam reach and there's just a bit of a gust of wind and it's just boom they just accelerate from six to twelve knots in, a, in an instant it's So she blew out, eh? Blew the whole sail out. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a couple of good rips in it too. Yeah, I guess I it. I couldn't believe the power in it. There's probably 30 knots out there gusting, eh? Hey? Yeah, for sure. She's had a blowout. The plugger. She blew out. <laughs> oh well, pushing the limits. Yeah, that's the strongest wind we've had for a long time. And that's the first time with the big sail and the strong wind. We usually got the little ones. The race that Bruce was talking about before is the Triple Clown. 
Pretty much everyone who owns one of these trimarans on the island enters this race and it's a great day out and yeah, I filmed the whole thing. Here you go. I'll let Bruce and Andy explain the whole concept. Enjoy this part. Okay, welcome to the Umbrella Gala Yacht Club. Uh, as you can see, we've got the fleet here and uh, I'm the Commodore, Bruce Commodore and this is the man in charge of the vices. He's the vice Commodore, Captain Andy. Uh, this is the fourth round of the uh, Kalapa Cup. We've had four rounds, take the best three out of four, and the winner gets, he's the winner of the Triple Clown Trophy, the prestigious, un most unbelievable thing you've ever seen, Andy, I'd say. It's amazing work of art, it is, I <laughs> agree, yes. We started this first event last year, it started with the Kalapa Cup, then we had the Corona Club, and then this year we had the uh, Crab Claw Cup, which was six weeks ago. And we're getting more and more entrants every year. We're up to 14 competitors and the boat building. 15, 15. 15, 15 sorry. And every year it's getting more and more competitors, which is a great thing. We get all the locals here. It becomes a big local event for a day out. And uh, it's just something that's getting bigger and bigger every year, which is fantastic. And what's this year's event called? Uh, today's uh, a tribute. A tribute to uh, Kieran. And Sailing Excellence, and Pursuit of Sailing Excellence. It's the Pursuit of Sailing Excellency. Okay ladies, so you're in a team together today? Yep, yep. And uh, are you, what are your chances of winning this one? Oh, um, don't know about that. <laughs> this is our first time. We're going to win it anyway. <laughs> Hopefully. It's all, right, all about fun. Thank you. A little nervous, nervous, excited. The pressure? Oh yeah, there's always a bit of pressure on the competitors, the other competitors I'm talking about. It's going to be a challenge. One of the two. You're all here now in the bar, you know where you are? All right, same start as last time. Down the beach, around the boat out here, then up to the gap in the reef here. Now there'll be a big white boat parked up there. You can't miss it. If you do, bad luck. Then over to the boat shed and back down to here, three times. So before we do anything, we're going to meet at going all captains outside and we're going to get a group photo. Yeah, yeah, so over yeah. Oh yeah, over 70s in front. Under 30, over 70 in front. Oh no, everybody Oh, Brian Neal, I'm taking out. He's handsome in the back, right? Yeah. Alright, beer's on the bar. Well, look up, Bruce. Alright, captain's ready. Alright, the uh, Takanga Cup will begin in five, four, three, two, one. Go! go.
Hey, somebody move the boat. I got to move it down. Yeah, but you saw me stay. I was first, and then I was going to the boat, and then I didn't find the boat anymore. And everybody said, <laughs> That's it, well, we'll call it off. <laughs> oh, mate, it's chaotic out there. Where's right? <laughs> the main judge here? The main judge is that he went to sleep, Michele, in the end, instead of fucking racing. I think you are the brain of this thing. It's called a... Not a very oh, controversial finishes. What do you think, anyway, Ruben? I think the race. Never yeah. seen. No. It. I, I, I thought that. I, no, 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 no. Where's the head judge? Who's the head judge? Oh, we have to have a committee meeting. For the finish. Yeah, what is the for the finish? <laughs> and then there was Michaela. Yeah, me and Michaela were. And then and then the Spanish Armada. Yeah, and then so. Brian. No, no, in the last round, no, he made the he great thing. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who was winning? Uh, of course, the four guys, huh? Uh, all these four. Yeah. All number one. Yeah. All number one. All number one. All number one. Yeah. 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 We were, we were saying, hey, Michele. That's a good Italian. Like, okay, for today's race, the uh, the Dakemba Cup. In the pursuit of sailing excellence, uh, excellence. Uh, in third place today, we have Chapo in his first race, taking a third place. There's no prize money or, or trophy or anything, or not even a ribbon. No, Chapo, I disqualified. No crab claw. No crab claw. No crab claw. No sorry, sorry. So in the event of Chapo's disqualification, Michaela will take third place. Going on, Michaela. And he couldn't see. <laughs> he was already handicapped. Second place today is Commander in Training, Andy. Captain Andy! Okay, and if ever, anybody remembers the last race, buying Andy drinks after the race, probably not a good idea. Okay, in first place today, we have the impressionable Brian. Brian, where'd you go? The Dark Horse! Brian, there he is, Brian! Back now. For first place, there actually is a trophy, Brian. I expect that to see that on the mantle at your house every time I come by now. Uh, uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank everybody that organizes this whole gig. It's a, a, a tremendous day, and, and uh, I've really enjoyed the sailing. Secondly, Jerry, thank you for letting me use your old boat. It's a bloody <laughs> weapon. It's an absolute bloody uh, rocket. And uh, thanks for the of the sale, uh, Andy, yeah, you're, you're a good bloke. In third place, uh, the Uruguayan nightmare, Diego, is uh, who's not present today. In second place for the Triple Crown this year, Jerry. Jerry! And I'm going to tell Diego, everybody clap for Jerry, but not for Diego. And in first place, our Commodore in training, Andy! <laughs> Andy is our first official Triple Clown winner! A trophy that will give children nightmares for the remainder of their lives! <laughs> That's the beauty. Yeah. It'll be here in a hundred years time to come with a big clock underneath. Yeah. Alright Andy, a little, a little word from our reigning champion. As always, it's a fantastic event, except for the Spanish Armada. <laughs> who drank all the beer on the first mark and left, <gasps> left no beer for any other competitors. <gasps> yeah, so <gasps> they're disqualified. Um, it's, it's fantastic. As I said last race, it's, um, we've been seeing the numbers increase. We've got boats and activity with new people participating. We launched two new boats this week and they were here today. So it's a great thing that's just getting bigger and bigger every year. I started off to, a, I was all keen when I started off last year, didn't even get off the beach with a broken mast. So it's, um, uh, came back strong and it's great to have this amazing thing which has been created by Les. Built Les. this. Yeah. It's all, it's all, all coconuts. He's donated that. And these things will be passed on from year to year to the, um, individual that wins them. And the, the yacht club's evolving, it's developing. We hope to bring the juniors in and get something <laughs> happening in sailing on the weekends and things and training and something to enjoy on the 
amazing place we have. So that's it. All right, thank you, Andy. And oh yes, wait, 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 wait. And we had today first ever participating the girls, Suchi and Safe. Well, there you go, guys. That was an awesome day. Good to see all these guys having fun. Once again, thank you very much to patrons. You guys make all this possible. You make it worthwhile for us to make these videos. Uh, great bunch of guys you are, and we really enjoy showing you these things we're experiencing every week. See you again next Sunday. Cheers, over and out. Bye-bye.